rock! Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend because today we're going to take a look at Rock of Ages. Keep it rolling. Sorry, <laughs> getting a little carried with the music already. Now we get the story of just a small town girl coming to L.A. to make it big in the music business. She's a singer and well, she ends up getting a job as a waitress at a bar that featured a lot of hard rockers, okay? Gave them their breaks, a very famous bar. Unfortunately, the hard rockin' saloon has fallen on hard times. And so they're hoping for the concert of Arsenal, uh, their last concert, headed by Stacy Jacks, performing at the saloon will help pull them out of the red. Meanwhile, we've got the city boy who's bartending and working there, also an up-and-coming rocker, uh, well, wanted to be rocker anyway, who falls in love with our Oklahoma girl. Meanwhile, the saloon is on a fight against the crusade that is being pushed against it by the mayor's wife, played by Catherine Zeta-Jones, who is uptight and wants to clean up the L.A. Strip, and you have the mayor who is kind of supporting her in the form of Brian Cranston. Folks, this, this musical surprised me, okay, where it started off as just kind of your cheesy little love story between two up-and-coming singers, it ends up turning into not only that, but a statement about the waning years of hair rock and rock and roll in general in the pop culture, okay, which I, I loved that direction it took. And that direction takes in the form of Stacey Jacks performed to a T by Tom Cruise, okay? His his rocker, Stacey Jacks, is fantastic. I want Stacey Jacks to be a real rocker, okay? And Tom Cruise is proving he can carry a tune as well. Everybody here gets a chance to show off their pipes, and uh, they all do very well. I liked Alec Baldwin's uh, little piece in there, and <laughs> Alec Baldwin and Russell Brand have uh, this interesting scene in there, which definitely will probably keep people talking about for a while, all right? And then Mary J. Bly showing up in it as well. Oh, I love her voice, and she gets some great performances. Um, as the owner of a strip club. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's PG-13, so it doesn't get too risque, but there are some great musical numbers in there. They reminded me almost like uh, the scene from Roxanne uh, from Moulin Rouge, okay? So uh, definitely had some similar feelings there. The supporting cast is great. You also got Paul Giamatti in there as Stacey Jacks' manager. I love his role in it, and he even gets to catch a small dude in there as well. Yeah, they put these songs in situations uh, that fit the plot, okay? The songs don't seem, f you know, too forced most of the time. And the mashups they do are surprising and interesting and definitely makes me want to get the soundtrack. Now, it does get a little long in the middle. I think they could have cut a little bit out and still had a really solid film. But the musical numbers help get you through the slower parts of the movie, all right? And, and you're going to be hard-pressed to keep yourself from singing along with these tunes if any of you are childs of the 80s, okay? Uh, and just, I loved everybody's performance. It was a good movie. It's a fun movie, all right? And, it's, and you'll hear about this from other reviews, but Stacey Jack steals this show in this. Tom Cruise really nails this. He helps carry this picture and make it more than just a cheesy kind of flat romance, okay? Uh, in this world of Glee, you may hear a few songs that you heard on Glee. No, they weren't first heard on Glee. These are all songs from uh, the rockin' ages of music, and you definitely should check out Rock of Ages, okay? I gave it three and a half stubs. Worth your time and money. Definitely check it out, especially if you're a fan of any 80s rock songs. You, you'll be watching this and just tapping your foot and, like I said, trying not to sing along with the actors on the screen. And before you go, folks, just a reminder, this Tuesday, starting at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, on livestream.com slash vortex. You've heard me talk to show before. I'm going to talk it again because they got a special guest. Bordello of Horror is going to be showing Night of the Living Dead, and they will be featuring, after 30 years away from the screen, Mr. Mephisto. He was a host, a horror host of horror films back uh, about in the 70s, I do believe it was. And they've got him back for some comedic skits while they watch Night of the Living Dead. And then... At 10 p.m. Central Time, stick for another edition of Bordello of Horror as they watch Monster from a Prehistoric Planet. And, yes, they are kind enough to show one of my reviews on their show. Livestream.com slash Vortex. Check it out this Tuesday, starting at 8 p.m. The fun begins. They got a live chat going on with the people involved with the Vortex. A lot of great crew. Definitely check it out. And then I'm about doing it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stuck.